Hi, I'm Alex. And I'm Garrison. And today we're going to be reviewing The Grey. After their plane crashes in Alaska, six oil workers are led by a skilled huntsman to survival, but a pack of merciless wolves haunts their every step. Alright, so Liam Neeson is a hunter or something. I, I don't remember exactly what he does. Let's just say it's the prequel to Batman Begins. This is what he was doing before. He's awesome. Okay, so the, the whole movie, it's basically him and I think uh, seven other guys or something like that. They're trying to survive in Alaska after, uh, well, watch the movie and you'll see what they're trying to survive after. So uh, Liam Neeson, it seems to be the only one knowledgeable of all this. What did you think about all like the violence and stuff in the movie? I think it was pretty good, and the wolves, very mean. Yeah, those wolves, they're, they're kind of assholes. Like, they're just trying to get away. Like, they got the warning. Do you really have to keep coming after them? So this whole movie is essentially like uh, just a survival movie, like man versus nature theme and everything, except a lot more badass. What did you think of the ending? It was a good ending. Very cliffhanger. I wasn't that crazy about the the ending because, like, it kind of the whole movie. It, it felt like it was leading up to this moment, and then we're like, "Oh my god, it's gonna be an awesome scene!" And like, <laughs> why, why am I seeing the credits? What just happened here? No, I, I want to see what happens. Go back to that. Don't cut. Don't cut it off right there. So, I was a little upset about that. Make sure to stay for after credits. Yeah. Oh yeah. Apparently, there's an after credits scene. So, yeah, check that out. I didn't see it. Why didn't they just have the scene in? This isn't a Marvel movie. Uh, what What do you think of the characters? Because like, for me, I got kind of attached to some of them and so like whenever anything happened to any of them I was like oh but why why that guy just why well uh, I guess in a movie sense that's good but overall why on a scale from 1 to 10 what do you give this movie since it's a Liam ne Neeson movie I'm gonna say 8 uh, I really didn't know what to expect from this movie, so I'm going to have to agree. I'm going to give it an 8. What is your favorite Liam Neeson movie? Post your response in the comments below. And if you like this review, make sure to like and subscribe.